What's up guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use two Redux libraries. The first is Redux Form, which allows you to make forms in Redux very easily, and it also allows for making more complicated forms that use error handling and other features. The second library I want to talk about is Redux Saga, which goes about making API calls easily. This allows us to make asynchronous calls to an API or in the background um, and not pause the uh, screen while it's loading or whatnot and then get data from the API and then update the state uh, of our application. If that doesn't make sense stay tuned I'll explain how Redux Auto works in detail when we get there. But I want to show you the application that we're going to make to basically demo out those two libraries. So we're going to make a weather application where you type in the location uh, that you would like to get the weather for. So I'd like to get the weather for New York. Um, and then you type in enter or hit the submit button and it'll go fetch uh, weather from Yahoo and then it'll spit out a little diagram here. I'll close the console for you guys. It'll spit out a little thing right here telling you what the weather is in New York and the forecast. Um, this stuff right here is coming directly from Yahoo. I don't touch it. They give you the HTML. So it's a little ugly but uh, it's good for the little sample that we're doing. Now using Redux form, I was able to submit this form, pass the data through. Um, we also have a little bit of error handling. So for example, if I don't type anything, oh look, location required. I have to type a location and I can't just leave it blank. I can try to submit, nothing's happening. Um, the other thing is I just, if I put in gibberish, pure gibberish, um, it says no data for that location. It'll actually go do an API request to Yahoo uh, Weather and then it gets no data and then it spits out this error for us. So that's all using Redux form, and then the actual API call is with Redux Saga. So that's what our application is going to be doing. Let's get into uh, configuring it real quick, or setting up. So if you just open up a terminal prompt, uh, we're going to be, first thing we're going to be doing is git cloning a repository that I have. It's just some boilerplate. Uh, React and Redux code that has stuff set up that makes it faster to code. So I'll put a link in the description below and this is the link right here. Um, and you're just going to clone it. I already cloned it so I'm not going to clone it here. Once you clone it we're just going to cd into that uh, folder and then the first thing you want to do is install the dependencies with npm install. Again I already have them installed so I'm not going to. And then there's two more uh, things we need to install. Redux form and super agent. So just do npm install and then save these guys. Um, after you do that, we are good with the setup. Um, in the next video, we're going to be making the form for the application you just saw.